This video is proudly sponsored by Le Bon. Go and check out the Le Bon app on your smartphone. Link is in the description of the video. Basically, what it is, Le Bon is a betting app, but with a difference. You bet amongst your friends. Simple as that. It's safe, secure. I don't know, you can put five quid in a pot each. Bang, ten of your lovely jubbler. Put it into the pot. Get your predictions in for your games. Whoever gets the most points based on correct score, or if you don't get the correct score and your team still wins, you still get points for it. Winner takes all. Bang, away you go. I won last week against Saeed and James Redmond. You might just might just win against your friends. Go and check it out. Link is in the description. Le Bomb. 18 and over. UK only. Go and check it out. Le Bomb. What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. Smash a like on the video. Please hit the subscribe button as well. This is your match preview. This was with Craig, Chelsea fan, massive fixture, 140th FA Cup final, Leicester, Chelsea, Wembley. Saturday, 5.15 kickoff. Let's go. I don't normally do these previews, but it's a special occasion. Special Very occasion. special. It Very. is, yes, yes. It so, is. As you can see, I'm joined by Chappie. Very special guest. For a very special game, the FA Cup yeah. final. It, uh, our, our first final since 69. That's 1969. Jesus. Mad. Mad. Hell. Yeah. So, so it's, uh, yeah. I, I was going to ask this question a little bit later on. So I work with a girl called Aisha, a lovely girl, massive Leicester fan. And she yeah. said, I, I asked her a couple of weeks ago when we both made the game and we both made the final. Um, would she prefer to get top four or win the FA Cup? And she said top four. Ooh. Are you in the same camp or not? No, the uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's split between the fans. I'll be honest with you. But if you look at it in a different way, this cup means a lot more, I think, because it's it's something that you can say you've won. Yes. You can't say I've won top four. You, you can't yes. say that. But you can say you've won silverware. You can say that Spurs can't. But you, but <laughs> literally, but Leicester can. We've already won the Premier League in the last five years. Let's let's get another one on that mm. list let's just get another one i know I, I know people sort of downgrade the cup now um that it means less and blah, blah blah i think personally it should be top three and the fa cup winners going to the champions league personally that's what i think but there you go that's that's probably another debate for another video that's quite a good idea actually because mm. it's, it's a bit of a strange one for me because every single year everyone says to me who would you want to win the fa cup if it wasn't obviously chelsea mm. and every year i say leicester Every oh, yeah. single year, I say Leicester, and I think that'll be a fair few people say Leicester or Everton, Wolves previously as well. It it's a bit. Of, how, how is it from a Leicester fan's point of view? I mean, what does this game mean to you? You know, for oh, yourself, this, but also to the fan base as well. This is the biggest fixture in my generation. Put it that way. Uh, you know, I'm 34, uh, pushing 35. <laughs> um, this is our biggest fixture since winning the Premier League. Since since that that fixture where Chelsea you know came from behind and Hazard puts it away and we're we're, we're in dreamland we love that goal. <laughs> love that goal that moment um, <laughs> but, but no you didn't win it for us we was already there we helped we helped <laughs> you, you just you just uh, put the stamp on it so to speak but it was yeah. already ours it was already ours um, but but yeah it was that was a magic moment and this this fixture is almost it's, it's not quite neck and neck but it's 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 close. Yeah, because last five games we've played you, uh, obviously you beat us 2-0 in the league in January time, I think it oh, was. Is gosh. that about right? Yeah. A long while ago. It, it was a while ago. Yeah. But the time before we played you uh, was a 1-0 win for us in the FA Cup quarterfinal last year. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, of course, it's a very different tournament. It's very different stages, um, both because of, you know, the coronavirus and whatever. We've it, we've had differing times, shall we say. Kind of lesser dropped off a lot at the end of last season. Chelsea managed to nick into top four. It now seems like top four is pretty much a certainty for you. It looks yeah. like you're there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, That's, yeah. This, this is now put all your eggs in one basket. This doesn't have to worry about anything else. You can afford to go for this game. Of course, you have two games left in for the end of the season and something miraculous could happen. But the likelihood is you can put all your eggs into one basket. This is the game, surely. 
Yeah, um, I think maybe a draw will will completely give us top four anyway. I think only we only need one more point really. I can't see yeah. West Ham winning all their all their games. Um, and uh, well, we don't know what's going to happen between Liverpool and Man United. Um, is that even going to be played now because of all the fans yeah. outside again? Both, both teams are in. Yeah, both okay, teams are in. Okay, so they can still play it. So that's fine. <laughs> um, but this that, we can throw everything at this. I think mm. I think we can afford to. You boys have got Champions League final to worry about. Yeah, um, you've still got that. I, I, I suppose you are going to get top four, but I mean, well, I that, mean, after it, last night, yeah, you've got a lot more. You've got a lot more to lose than we have, I think, right now. Yeah, and I think you know after last night's game, of course, it was shocking for us. But I think, I mean, the way that you guys are celebrating after the Man United game, let's just very briefly touch on that because yes, yes. Um, you weren't gifted three points, but Man United, by naming a second string eleven, did help you a large deal. Let's say that. I think that's fair to fair yeah. to say. It, it's a bit of a tough one because obviously you did still have to go and win the game, and you did. You had a shocking result against it was Newcastle, wasn't it? The game before yeah, was it four yeah, two? The, pre- the previous Friday, it was yeah. Uh, the previous Friday, ouch! It was I mean, it was an understatement. Does that Man United win put you back on track, or is it a bit of oh we're pretty much in top four? But I mean, we kind of got helped out a little bit. You've only got to look at our home performances, and you'll see at the King Power we've been poor. On the road, we've been a lot better. Um, granted, Man United okay played their side B team, um, but when you look at their side, they brought Cavani on, they had Rashford on, they, yeah. they, they you know, they had David De Gea, uh, some of those players are still good, Van Der Beek's a decent player, uh, you know, F- Fernandez came on as well. It's not as if they played the kids, they've played experienced players, yeah. they one or two yeah. youngsters. Yeah, Tellez, who's a highly rated, you know, left back. Mm, completely. You know, th- Okay, fair enough. They probably didn't play their, you know, their first eleven, mm. but we've not had our. I wouldn't say we've had our first eleven together for most of the season. Mm. Actually, you know, that brings me, it brings oh, me quite nicely into into this team selection of yours because uh, you very gratefully um, put a team selection together. Let me. Wait I on always do. Screen. I, I always do. Screen. I try my best. I try my best to put you. Talk a, to me because a... you said about you haven't had your first team eleven for a cut a, a little while. Is this as close as you've been, or are, uh, are you happy with it? No, because you, you've still not got that. That James Justin came in, as you know. Uh, he mm-hmm. came in uh, really replacing Ricardo Pereira because he did on his ACL and was out for eight months. Yes. So J- James Justin comes from Luton, highly, highly rated by the Luton fans, by the way. They were saying like he's the next big thing, you know, and, they, uh, and people always say that, you know, when, when you sell a, a player to a bigger team. But the reality is, he came in and he was mustard. And unfortunately, we lost him to the same injury that he replaced Ricardo Pereira with. Yeah. Uh, he's he's now out till November. Harvey Barnes, a very exciting player on the left oh, as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. Don't forget, you know. So that left side that was doing really well and got us all the way through to this FA Cup kind of final, really, um, before obviously taking injury. What well, I think Harvey Barnes has been out about six weeks, and yeah, I'd say about both of them have been about six weeks now. Um, that left side, it just isn't the same. So Brennan's had to play three at the back instead of four. Mm. For, uh, and uh, and that's kind of changed the way that we've played. But recently, we've looked decent, to be fair, with a three at the back of Suunchu, Evans and Fafana. But having said that, we lost Johnny Evans against Newcastle. Yes. And it all went to pot. He was scheduled to play. And all of a sudden, the pre-match you know, build-up sort of time thing, he pulls up. And mm. it it just fell. It just felt it, Johnny Evans is the organizer of the two younger players next to him, of and Fafana. He creates the, you know, he completes the three. He completes that triangle. Mm, I mean, because I mean, obviously the the Evans thing, we don't know if for a certainty whether he's no, in, whether he's I've out. Him, yeah, I've put him in because Brendan said that he was training today and yes. looked looked good. So I've put him in thinking that he's going to be starting but if he doesn't then obviously we're going to have to probably shift I, I, I'm hoping that he'd shift to a four at the back uh, I can see him probably playing Ricardo Pereira and uh, mm. and let's try and shift that around so I, I can imagine what he'd do is put Ricardo either right and Castagna he'd probably go left or he would leave Castagna on the right mid and pull Thomas in further back yeah and obviously Evans would come off 
Uh, Madison would probably head slightly out to the left hand side. I'd yeah, assume. So, yeah, yeah. So you'd go with four, and then you'd probably go Madison a little bit left, and you'd yeah. focus on your forwards. I can imagine it would be something like that if we had to adjust. But yeah, that's kind of what we'd do. Because uh, I mean, go, very quickly, we'll go back to the, that Arsenal game. Obviously, for Chelsea, they matched up with a uh, three at the back against us, and obviously had quite a bit of success. Is that something? Do you think you could do as well? Weren't playing that three at the back? Yeah, well, you've you've lost a couple of games to, to teams that like whoa, you know what was going on mm. with the was it the West Brom game? Yeah, no, we. I, I mean, self-inflicted errors both times, both self-inflicted yeah, errors. Yeah, uh, you know, and again the Arsenal one, you, you really struggled to break them down. I was watching your tweet, Fred. By the way, it was quite funny. Oh and man, what, I was going nuts. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I, I, but I didn't watch the game. That's the thing. I couldn't watch the game. Oh, it was too, okay. it was too, I was way too busy last night to, to do any of that. So. Um, I, I can't give you a breakdown of obviously how you played last night, but I, I'll have to take your word for it. You was, poor. I was, I was just fuming because Chelsea seemed to have one way of playing, and when we can't play that one way, we do nothing. So yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah. Leicester, Leicester, kind of the same thing in a in a sense where if a team sits back, we can't break teams down, and that's been like that for years. You know, since even count the counter attacking stuff, where we mm. was kind of fat the following season, where we'll kind of find out and we couldn't counter attack anymore because people just sat back. Yeah, that's still kind of stuck with us. Mm. We we do struggle to sit. You know, look at you only got to look at Newcastle. Yeah, every man South, has a goal. South, Southampton. Yeah, as well. Ten men against Southampton. Ten men and we couldn't break them down. Mm. And, and I, th I think this, um, if I were to give a, we'll go into predictions in a little moment, but a kind of just an instant little prediction. I have a feeling this game finishes 1 0 and the team that scores first wins it. Yeah, I've got. And, and, I, and, I, think, and I think nothing's going to happen after <laughs> that. I really do. I've actually gone for originally before last night uh, and the result and stuff. I, I originally was going to go Chelsea all the way, like 2 3 0 or something stupid. But because of last night and. I have a feeling Leicester are going to win it, so I'm going to go with a one nil, dirty, mm. dirty one nil win. And it's going to be it. I mean, how do you think Leicester win this game? How, who that, do you think it, gets the goal? Gonna, how, how does it come? Cle what do you Calici think? and Nacho, Calici and Nacho is going to get. It's a, literally, a, that it is that yeah. way we're going to play. That yeah, to it's it. going to be a, it's going to be a scrappy goal because Calici and Nacho's most of his goals are scrappy. To be honest with you, uh, mm. they are. Um, he's come across as a, I suppose, in better form over the last probably ten games or so. But yeah, I, I still don't see him as like this world class striker. You know, that's come from Man City. But yes. but but he's in form. And what's the most part important part for a striker, Craig? Yeah, scoring goals. Scoring goals. Scoring goals. Scoring goals. Scoring goals. And, and, and it's what Chelsea can't do at the moment. That that's you know that's the thing. And I think it's a really interesting lineup about <clears throat> how this game goes because if Chelsea want to do what we did yesterday against Arsenal, what we've done previously, which is keeping the ball and working it and keeping possession and stopping the other team from playing, you have to be able to take your chances, and that's not yeah. something that Chelsea do well. And I feel it's going to be something that Leicester, again, rising up to the occasion. This is all your eggs in one basket. I feel this is something you can go for. And I don't want to say it's a potential banana skin, but it's a potential banana skin. Uh, and, mm. and that's it, it's not a disrespect to Leicester, who obviously are an incredible side. But you think with the squad quality that Chelsea have got, that we'll be able to make a big difference in this game and, and go and win it. But, I mean, obviously, you know football. We all know football. It don't happen like that. It really don't. <laughs> It's a funny old game, football. Uh, we know it is. Um, the scoreline that shocked me this season was when we turned Man City over at the Etihad 5-2, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just going back a bit now because obviously that was before Christmas time. That was like September when the Foxes were flying, to be fair. Yes. Yeah, you are. Um, now, you only got to look at the possession on that game. Um, Man City had 72% possession to Leicester's 28. They had yeah. 680 passes. Leicester had 267. But we scored five goals on the yes. counter. Most of them on the counter. Bang! Mm. Away you go. Yeah. Away you go. Play with the seven, space, and that's that. Two, that's yeah. Down to feet. yeah, seven shots. Seven shots on target, and that's what it's yes. about. That's yeah. what it's about. The the only thing I would say, I I remember watching it in a pub actually when we were allowed to go into pubs. Um, I remember watching it, and Madison had quite a good game that day, did he not? I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. You got a goal as well, I think. About the I, I, was, 
I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he got on the score sheet. Yeah, because Vardy got an trick that day, didn't he? He, got, he had two penalties, though, to be fair. But, oh, but, yes, that's it. Yeah, of course. But still, but, but still. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those kind of things, they do happen. And uh, and I was going to ask, just obviously very quickly, about kind of Madison. He's been in the team. He's been out of the team. I don't yeah. quite know what the situation is with him. I mean, you have him starting, and I, and I probably think that he would. Is that the kind of thing that he needs to kind of build up a little bit of confidence to do to – Really it's his fitness. Or, or that, it's, yeah, his fitness. It, it's his fitness. Yeah. He, he's been struggling. Um, I know he's had some sort of problem um, and uh, it looks like he probably will go for that surgery in the end. Um, but he's, he's had some sort of problems for quite a while. Uh, I think he had a knee problem and a hip problem. It's, took it, it's almost took the engine out of him. He don't mm. look like the same Madison as like 18 months ago. Yes, like I we agree. all thought, God, Madison, man, what a player, what a talent, you know, Madison or Grealish, Madison or Grealish. I don't even think he's at the minute. He's in the. I don't even think he's in the debate. Mm. You know, Mount, Foe, they're all. They're all above him. They're all yeah. above him right now. Which is a shame. I'm I, not. I, I'm not knocking him. I'm not yeah, knocking. Yeah, him. I, just, yeah. I think it's a fitness problem. It's not his talent. He is a talented, skillful, you know, technically technically gifted player. But I think at the minute he's lost his engine. His drive is gone because of his yeah. fitness. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's and that's very fair. That is really really fair. And I think you know I, I obviously do a lot of England content as well. I have him as a certainty going to the Euros, but I nah. thought he was. I thought he was going to come back about three weeks ago and he'd prove it. Now he's pretty much got about two weeks nah. to prove it, and I, I don't necessarily see it happening. The, he might be the one that nicked in there ahead of Jack Grealish, but Jack Grealish is apparently playing today. I don't well, know how yeah, he's done. Yeah. If he has I'm a world, not too sure. if he, yeah, if he has a world performance in this FA Cup final and Leicester lift the trophy, maybe he'll get a a, a little uh, party invite. Yeah. Uh, and again, it's, and it, and it's not that heart. sort of party I invite. He's already done that one. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, as a few of yours have. But no, I I think it's something really serious to think about in terms of him and someone who is as good as he is missing out on the Euros. But very quickly, Chappie, I just want to finish off with two questions, two very mm. uh, quick questions. Have you heard that Kepper is playing in goal for us in the cup final? Is that true? Yes. But why? You tell me. I've got no idea. Why has Mendy's been like give or take best goalkeeper in the Premier League? I'd probably argue he has been the best goalkeeper in the league. One or two mistakes, but everyone's had him this season. Yeah, I, I, I like Martinez as well for Villa. I think he's good, been absolutely good out, outstanding. Good um, but but give or take, it's got to be Mendy, right? Yeah, but it's not. It's Kepa. Rested for the what Champions League. Fuck nice. I've got no idea. I've got honestly got no idea. Um. Yeah, oh, I'll take I, that. I'll take that. I, 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 I can see that little smile in your face. I can see it there. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking, just bag it top bins, bag it top bins, and we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a really weird one. It is, it is. Um, and the last question is who are you the most worried about from our lot? Uh, Reese James at the minute is really well. I, I every time I watch Reese James, he, he has a worldie, but I don't watch you for 90 minutes all the time, so yeah, that's true. Yeah, but every time he, I've seen him, he looks mustard. So... I do like him, but it's got to be Mount, mate. It's got to be Mason Mount. Yeah. What, that, what that's, well, that's, that was more of an answer I was expecting. <laughs> well, no, but every time I've seen Reece James, I think, God, what a player he is. Mm. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's one of those things, you know, like when fans watch the other team, but they only see the highlights. They don't see the 90 minutes. Yeah. You know, we had that time and time again with players. Uh, 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 Mason Mount, mate, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I probably would agree and say that he's going to be our danger man. But anyway, you think it's going to be 1-0. I think it's going to be 1-0. What a great preview. I don't do many of these. If you do want to see more of them on the channel, then please do let me know. Um, I can't wish you all the best because oh. we play you three days later as well. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean... Can, can we have the cup and you just take the three points and we'll just beat Spurs and then we're all happy? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? So I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. We need to get. We need to just focus on that Champions League final. Anyway. And there you have it, Craig. One nil. I'm gonna go one nil. I'm gonna go Kalichi and Nacho to get the winner. I'm just going with it. I, I, I feel it. I can see him lifting the cup for Vishai as well. Five years of Vishai had a dream. We won the Premier League. We've got to lift another trophy, and I feel this is the one. Come on, boys. Have it. Smash a like on the video. Please hit the subscribe button as well. If you're new to the channel and you've only just found me, what? where the hell have you been? I am on the Don Robbie channel for the watch along with Sophie Rose and expressions as well as Don Robbie himself. We will be live 
in the studio on Saturday. The next watch along will have to wait till the Premier League. This cup's the most important fixture of my lifetime outside of winning the Premier League. Smash a like, guys. I shall see you there. Follow me at Lee underscore Chappy on Twitter, Instagram, and I'm also on TikTok now as well. And I'll see you down the road. Stay safe out there. See you soon.